Hey physique freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzan on MetabolicMasterpiece.com began a new training phase this week, AMP Phase 9. Day 1 was an upper body strength focused workout, day 2 was a lower body strength focused workout. Now this bro is getting all kinds of functional and shit by performing a bunch of unilateral movements, beginning with the unilateral dumbbell chest press. Now, we're mainly doing this just to kind of spice up our workout routine, do something a little bit different, add some variety to our training, as well as enhance our mind-muscle connection. So with this exercise, we're aiming for 12 to 15 reps. I got a 50-pound dumbbell here. Really trying to focus on that contraction in my pec there. So I'm going to be doing the same thing here. This side, the left side, took me a few reps to really engage um, my pec here but once I found it it was freaking phenomenal got a really good stretch across that pec and really felt a great contraction by pushing the upper arm the humerus up against the pecs now because um, you're going you're doing a unilateral movement here more balance is required you're not going to be able to go quite as heavy uh, as you would if you're aiming for 12 to 15 reps with a dumbbell on each hand, but I'm cool with that. For this workout, it's just something a little bit different, and it does feel fantastic to uh, really engage your core, your, your obliques, your transverse abdominals, your abs, even your glutes are getting engaged uh, in that movement. Now we're moving on to an Atlantis machine, very similar to a hammer strength machine, a unilateral movement. Once again, this feels a little bit different. We're going heavier and aiming for six to eight repetitions here. Um, I really love this machine. I love it both arms at the same time, uh, or unilateral like I am uh, doing in this uh, in today's workout here. It's just just a fantastic machine. So I'm really trying to squeeze the shoulder blades back, keep my shoulders down, up against the bench. So as I am pushing the lever up, I am driving my back into the bench. I'm never letting my shoulder leave that bench and stretch forward. I want to keep the tension on my pecs and use as little anterior delt as I possibly can. So even though I'm on a machine here, you still the balance is required. I still feel the core really engaging there. Now this isn't a unilateral movement, but the cables, this setup, it's just freaking awesome. You're going to see my arms shaking like crazy here. Um, so because it's the cables are individual, even though I'm working on both at the same time, um, it's just uh, it's phenomenal. It's just a great way, a great way to get a good pump here, a good finish on the pec portion of the movement. So there's no rest between exercises. I'm performing this in a tri set. So moving from exercise to exercise, here I was aiming for 10 to 12 repetitions, I believe. So rest for 90 seconds to two minutes and repeat that tri set. Uh, two more times for a total of three sets. Now we're moving on to our shoulders beginning with a unilateral uh, lateral raise using the cable machine and I really like using the ball rather than a handle. Um, the main reason for that is it allows me to drive that weight up with uh, my pinky leading the way and that tends to hit the lateral aspect of the delt better than when you're using a handle and your palm is facing the ground so really trying to keep that pinky leading the way and feeling the tension on the lateral aspect of the delt and I'm really trying to reach out for the opposite wall I'm trying to keep my traps nice and relaxed I want all the tension on the delts I don't want to be feeling the tension in my traps so again trying to uh, you're made it's amazing how just doing the one arm at a time here uh, balance is required I really feel it on this doing the rear delt cable flies here and uh, same thing really the glutes are engaged your obliques and transverse abdominals are engaged your abs rectus abdominals are engaged it's just freaking awesome uh, and really I am using the same weight as I would if I was uh, doing both arms at the same time here so I didn't really have to reduce the weight on either of these exercises um, just because I was doing them unilaterally so not making any kind of sacrifice here, but getting some extra benefits of the core engagement by doing one arm at a time. And the focus is just freaking awesome. It's really great to to really get your mind 
in that muscle, not just in the rear delt, but in just the one rear delt, rather than thinking of both of your shoulders at the same time, just that mind-muscle connection has uh, built up. Maybe that was Rick Sign dropping the camera down in my cast to make sure that uh, build those bad boys up. <laughs> uh, all right, so now we're moving on to some plate upright rows. Again, one arm at a time. Now you've probably seen me do these before, um, the plate upright rows, and both arms at the same time, or even doing them one arm at a time. But uh, the difference is I'm only holding one plate in one hand, so that is really causing me to engage the core a lot more than if I was holding a plate in the other hand. So it's throwing my balance off a little bit. Um, this felt just freaking awesome. Really, really enjoyed this movement, and it's really great. Like I said, once again, now I'm able to focus on just the one delt rather than both at the same time. So it just it's a different way to really enhance that mind-muscle connection and kind of get a feel um, for what you could have been missing out on when you're doing both arms at the same time. So once again, exercise to exercise without any rest. Now I'm going to rest for about two minutes and repeat that tricep two more times for a total of three sets and now we're going to move on to the triceps beginning with a unilateral overhead cable tricep extension. Now I really love having an adjustable cable machine for this movement because I can adjust the height that allows me to keep my elbow at a 45 degree angle, bring my hand just behind my head, keep my neck in a nice neutral position. It just feels right. And I've tried this before on some other cable machines where the cable is right at the bottom position and sometimes when you extend your arm all the way to the top the weight stack hits the um, hits the bars at the very top so you're not able to work through the full range of motion now with this movement with your shoulder in an extended position like this uh, you tend to place a little more emphasis on the long head of the tricep since that head of the tricep muscle does cross the, the shoulder joint. But uh, for the most part, most tricep exercises place a fairly equal emphasis on all three heads. Now this is going to feel completely different with uh, your arms, your shoulder is not flexed or extended. Uh, this is going to have a bit of a different feel. I uh, really, really enjoy these kickbacks with using the cables because you're feeling tension throughout the entire range of motion. Really great to see some of the details in uh, my arms and shoulders in this movement as well. Uh, triceps were starting to get pretty darn fried at this point. Not, not an over emphasis on core stability or anything here. I wasn't placing my hands, I was trying to keep my arm at the side there and not rest it on my knee, I'm trying to keep myself as unstable as possible. Now we're finishing off with some close grip push-ups using a medicine ball. For each of these tricep exercises I was aiming for 10 to 15 repetitions, um, no rest between exercises but two minutes rest between sets, repeating two more times for a total of three sets. Give this workout a shot. Let me know how it goes. I look forward to hearing your feedback. Hope you enjoy it. Catch up with you soon.